हेलो दोस्तों कैसे आप लोग वेलकम टू ऑटोबोट चैनल कोलकाता दोस्तों अगर आप चैनल में पहली बार आए हैं विश यू अ वेरी हैप्पी विजयदशमी अभी अभी दुर्गा पूजा खत्म हुआ है आई होप आपका बहुत अच्छा दुर्गा पूजा गया होगा हम लोग अभी बहुत बढ़िया गया है एंड वी हैव मेड अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोस ऑफ द बेस्ट दुर्गा पूजा ऑफ कोलकाता प्लीज मेक श्योर टू चेक इट आउट वी हैव मेड शॉर्ट वीडियोज ऑल्सो एंड सिनेमेटिक वीडियोज ऑल्सो एंड यू आर गोना लव इट ऑल द लिंक्स विल बी गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो प्लीज मेक श्योर टू चेक दम आउट दोस्तों अगर आप चैनल में पहली बार आए तो प्लीज हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन टू सपोर्ट अस ऑल्सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स आज का जो वीडियो है दिस वीडियो विल बी ऑन डैश कैम्प्स इन अवर चैनल वी रिसीव द रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ अवर सब्सक्राइबर्स फ्यू डेज बैक गोपी कृष्णा हु हैज रिक्वेस्टेड इफ वी कैन मेक अ वीडियो ऑन डैश कैम्प्स गोपी थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग द सजेशन टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन डैश कैम्प्स इनफैक्ट वी वेर प्लेइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑफ डैश कैम्प्स टू वीक्स बैक बट देन दुर्गा पूजा केम एंड वी बिकम वेरी बिजी विद दैट सो माई अपोलॉजिस फॉर डिले इन द वीडियो सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू हेल्प ऑल दी कार ओनर्स हु आर प्लानिंग टू बाई अ डैश कैम और Uh, they already have a dash cam and wants to upgrade and not sure whether they want they need to have a dash cam for their car or not i'll also talk about few types of dash cams i've been using dash cams for the last 4 years two dash cams i have used so i'm going to talk all about that i'll also show you a hands on video of the dash cams that i use video quality of the dash cams which i am currently using and which i was using some time back also the app interfaces of the dash cams it's going to be a detailed video i'm going to split it into two parts this is the part 1 otherwise the video would be very big so without wasting any more time let's start with the video dosto ye aap jante hain india mein jitna bhi automobile chalta hai that comprises of only 1% of the entire automobiles jo ki duniya mein chalta hai lekin jo road accidents globally hota hai uska 11% india mein hota hai there's a very staggering statistics but aisa hi hai why i am saying you this dash cam is one device जो कि आपको बहुत जगह में हेल्प कर सकता है इसमें सो वट इज अ डैश कैम डैश कैम इज नथिंग बट कैमरा दैट इज माउंटेड ऑन योर डैशबोर्ड और ऑन दी फ्रंट विंडशील्ड विच रिकॉर्ड इच एंड एवरीथिंग दैट इज हैपनिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर कार एंड यू हैव दैट फुटेज सो वेन एवर यू नीड इट यू कैन एक्सेस इट सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ डैश कैम विच आई हैव सीन वन इज अ फ्रंट विंडशील्ड डैश कैम ये क्या होता है इट ओनली रिकॉर्ड्स वट एवर इज हैपनिंग इन द फ्रंट ऑफ द कार्ड अनदर इज अ टू वे डैश कैम सो ये क्या है इट रिकॉर्ड्स साइमल्टेनियसली एवरीथिंग दैट इज हैपनिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर कार एंड ऑल्सो ऑन द बैक ऑफ योर कार एंड वन इज अ थ्री वे डैश कैम सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम रिकॉर्डिंग इन द फ्रंट एंड बैक इट ऑल्सो रिकॉर्ड्स वट एवर हैपनिंग इन साइड योर कार माई फर्स्ट डैश कैम दैट आई गॉट दैट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रिल दैट वॉज अ फ्रंट डैश कैम आई वॉज यूजिंग The dash cam was from Transend. I was using the model number 230 Pro. This is the one. I, I still have it. I don't use it now. Uh, it has GPS, also Wi-Fi. Using the Wi-Fi, I can uh, wireless transfer the file. ये क्या होता है? It sticks in the front of your dashboard, and everything that is happening in the front, it records it. It also has a small two-inch screen. with which uh, you can use it to nav- navigate different option also you can sh- see whatever that is being recorded so this is a front camera so it can record in full hd 1080p and also in hd that is 720p resolution quite a handy this is powered by the 12 volt power outlet in the car also it supports any uh, usb 2.0 power cable uh, with which you can also power it so very handy and small device i was using it for almost 2 and a half years but then i thought i need to upgrade so i have stopped using it i am now using a different one this is the current dash cam that i am using so this is a two way dash cam uh, this device gets installed in the uh, inside mirror like this and uh, this is the camera i can also extend it for better fitment and with this silicon pads i can clip it in the uh, inside mirror it has buttons on the lower section also other wires power cable micro sd that goes on top uh, this is the interface now uh, it's very reflective so you can also use it as a mirror if you don't want the screen at all time what it does it records whatever is happening in the front of the car also one back parking camera is attached to the back side of the car i always get the live stream of everything that is happening in the front or in the back by default i have set it in such a way so i get everything that is happening in the back i can see that it offers a 130 degree field of view of the back and 135 degree field of view of the front so it's very easy very easy to detect blind spots 
in the back or in the front and specially helpful while parking the car it also has a parking mode where uh, you can attach it with your battery and it can also act as a parking surveillance camera so that it is always on i have not done it and it is also not recommended because for that uh, you need to hardware this the dash cam with your battery and it may drain it the hardwiring kit also does not come included with this dash cam you all you need to purchase this additionally so i don't use it uh, i would not recommend also because it is not required if you are parked in a community or inside your garage you don't need to have a parking surveillance all the time but if you need it you have the option this device i have installed it here myself it's very easy to install but the back parking camera and all the wiring that is routed within the car i have paid a technician 250 rupees and i got it installed now why i did that um, i am not very much comfortable in doing the wiring rerouting and doing any fitments inside the car and i prefer a professional to do that and they are you know, very much used to it um, i can try to do that but it may not work properly or i may have to get with the uh, get in touch with the technician again so it's better to do it via professional so it's only cost 200 or 250 rupees you can also negotiate and pay less the camera was installed in a very good way uh, there was no wire cutting one problem with uh, brands like volkswagen and a few other brands is that they do not permit any kind of wire cutting uh, if you do that your warranty might get void so i have a 6 year warranty in the car which i don't want to get void so all the connection that is done inside the car routing of the wires it has been done without cutting off any wires it's all couple to couple connection so if i want to take it out i can easily take it out so no problems at that so this is the uh, front camera and the main device back parking camera is fitted in the back i'll also show you that ye hai iska बैक पार्किंग कैमरा डाटा एप इंस्टॉल्ड इसका जो वायर्स है इसके अंदर से गया है दर हैज़ बीन नो वायर कट वाट्स एवर सो ये पूरा स्ट्रीम करता है जो अंदर में सिस्टम है उसमें एंड आई कीप इट ऑन ऑल द टाइम सो दैट आई कैन गेट अ क्लियर व्यू ऑफ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड I'll quickly give you a hands-on uh, what comes in the box of this one, also this one, and also the app. Uh, how does the app interfaces look? Seventy MI Xiaomi dash cam. As you can see, this is a very reflective screen. So, if you don't want to use the screen all the time, you can also use it as a mirror. On this back, this is the front camera that records everything in the front. You can also extend it. Mirror does not fit it. Also, you can retract it. Uh, these are the tethering that you use to install it inside mirror. It's very easy to install. You can install it. This device you can install it on your own. Just have to. put your mirror here and just need to attach it with this here this is the power cord for the back parking camera it's this when you attach the back parking cable it goes through here and this is where the usb 2.0 power outlet goes in and between that we have the micro sd card on the bottom here are the four controls so in the middle it's the power button different other functions buttons are on the uh, left and right now i'm just going to use the usb uh, 2.0 power cable connecting with a power bank and just power it on so it automatically powers on show my starts recording the backup camera is removed check so, if the connection is okay if there are any faults in the camera or the backup camera is not connected it gives you voice messages which uh, really helps you know what is going wrong and you can immediately take an action this is the view from the front camera unfortunately we cannot uh, switch to the back parking camera because we don't have it you can also go to the Show gallery to see what videos you have recorded you can also go back Show my starts recording and this is the settings menu where you can toggle to different settings and here you can see it showing as recording button you see the red dots blinking it shows is recording and here it is the date and time so this was a brief hands on of the Xiaomi 70mi dash cam 
This is the Transient Dashcam Pro 230. Uh, this is the cigarette lighter 12 volt power outlet. So what you need to do, you need to plug this end near micro SD, micro USB 2.0 charging cable, and this part you put it in the 12 volt power outlet of the of your car. You can use any micro USB 2.0 power uh, to power this up. So I'm just going to keep this aside. The wire is quite big. It's almost two two and a half meters. Now looking at the dash cam, this is the main lens. It's it can record in full HD in 1080p and also in 720p. It is not advisable to record in 720p because the quality is not that good. Uh, this is the speaker. It also has inbuilt GPS and Wi-Fi. This Pro model has GPS. There is there was another model when I was looking for the dash cam which only has Wi-Fi, did not not the GPS. It was little less price. This part uh, came separately along with the device. I have uh, attached it. So this way you can just how you want to use it and how you want to install it in your card dashboard. And this is where you put in your micro SD card. I have put a micro SD card which is also of transit 16 GB. This is the emergency record button that you can use. This is the port where your DC in or 5 volt charging cable goes in to power up the device. Now I'm going to attach a two, uh, USB 2.0 cable which is powered by a power bank and I'll just gonna show what's the interface is like. So this is the static animation. This is the power button and the button to switch on the Wi-Fi. So this button, this has four buttons, power button, options button, settings button and a button to take a snapshot so I can quickly take a snapshot just like that or I can go into the settings and if I want to change any settings I can just go in press ok this button also acts as the back button and also I can turn on the Wi-Fi to connect with my device using the app and also I can turn it off so this was all about display the display is very small it's approximately 2 inches diagonally which is very small and uh, the display is a TFT display not an LCD display so the resolution is okay-ish it's better to download the files in your computer see the videos that has been recorded by this device rather than seeing on this tiny screen this was about the Transit Pro 230 so this was a brief overview of the 7DMI dashcam and the Transcend dashcam. Now I am quickly going to show you their app interfaces. So that was a quick hands-on with both the dash cams. Now I'm going to fit both the dash cams inside the car and I'll show you how they look and what are the different options and settings they provide.